Hello, my dear ones. Well, today, Grandma would like to finish telling you the Easter story. As you remember, on Friday, the Savior was taken to Calvary, and he was nailed on a cross and crucified. And because he died late in the day on Friday, and the next day would be the Jewish Sabbath, they had to quickly take his body down and wrap him in linen cloths and take him to Joseph of Arimathea's new sepulcher. Here's a picture of what a sepulcher might look like. It might be the one where Jesus was taken. It might not. But Jesus had told his disciples and his followers that he would be resurrected and come back to life Three days after he died, the Jewish leaders asked Pilate to place guards at the tomb. They suspected someone would take Jesus' body and claim that he had come back to life. But no guards could stop what followed next. Two angels appeared and rolled back the stone from Jesus' sepulcher. The frightened guards trembled and fainted. And that morning, Mary Magdalene came to the sepulcher and found the stone rolled away. Remember, she was getting ready to finish properly preparing Jesus' body according to the Jewish custom. And so she ran to tell Peter and John that someone had stolen Jesus' body because it wasn't there. And both John and Peter ran to the tomb. And entering the tomb, they found the burial clothes. But the body of Jesus was gone. They thought someone had taken him. Sorrowfully, the disciples left. But Mary lingered behind, weeping. She looked into the tomb again and saw two angels. They asked her, Woman, why weepest thou? Mary said, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I know not where they have laid him. One angel told Mary, He is not here, for he is risen. And still not fully understanding, Mary turned and saw a man standing nearby. She thought it was the gardener, and he said to her, Woman, why weepest thou? Whom seekest thou? And then Mary answered, If thou hast taken him away, tell me where thou hast laid him. Because she was going to take care of him, and she thought it was just the gardener who might have taken him. And then Jesus said to her, Mary, and then she recognized that it was Jesus, and she cried out, Master. Joy filled her heart because she knew Jesus was not dead. He was alive again. It was a glorious moment for all mankind. The Lord and Savior had been resurrected, and because he had overcome death, all of Heavenly Father's children would be resurrected and live forever. Grandma knows that Jesus has been resurrected and that because of him, we too can live forever and be resurrected. And that one day we will see all of our loved ones who have passed on. Grandma will get to see her parents and other family and friends. And not only will we be resurrected, but we will come back with perfect bodies. Grandma will no longer be in a wheelchair. And I'll be able to be up and walking and embracing all of my loved ones. Grandma knows that this is true that the Savior loves us, and that Easter is the most glorious event that we can celebrate. 
And I hope that you will all have a wonderful Easter and that you will remember that we are celebrating the atonement and resurrection of our Savior, Jesus Christ. He loves us. Grandma loves you too. And I will talk to you later. Bye.